Hello Brookings, I am here today with Katie with the Brookings Regional Landfill and the Solid Waste Department and she's going to give us an update on everything that's been going on at the landfill and some things that are happening right now that are new. Now it is fall and a lot of you are probably out there raking leaves and cleaning up your gardens and doing things like that. What options does the community have available for their yard waste? Um, so as a lot of you know, um, two years ago we switched from the yard bags to the brown yard carts. Um, that's just to make our routes a little bit more efficient um, and you know easier to pick up. And so um, that would be your first option would be to get a brown cart if you do not have one so that you can have the, your leaves picked up curbside. Um, they are no additional cost to you. You just got to give me a call um, and let me know that you need a brown cart delivered. We pick those up on your trash and your recycle day so they get picked up twice a week. Um, and then we also have the Citizens Campus um, out here at the landfill. Um, it's just a separate entrance um, that has access 24-7. Um, right now you don't have to scale in or scale out um, and you can dump your leaves, grass, branches, um, all that additional yard waste that may not fit in that brown cart. Um, and it is also free to dump. Um, so it's a super convenient option for residents. That's really awesome. And also residents, they can sign up to get one of those yard waste carts using the Engage Brookings app as well. Yes. So just call call out here to the landfill or go onto the city's website, uh, engagebrookings.com, and you can request a cart there. Also, speaking of carts, let's talk about carts. Yeah. Now, as people are, as your um, staff members are going around and picking up waste, sometimes they run into some issues. Um, there might be a reason that they couldn't pick the garbage up that day. Now you've come up with a process that makes that a little bit easier for residents to find out why. Can you tell me a little bit about what's new and what you're doing with that? Yeah, absolutely. So we have these new, I guess we're calling them orange tags. They're bright orange, so hopefully you can't miss them. Um, our drivers are using these on their routes now um, just to give a little message on maybe why your um, you know, garbage, recycle, or yard waste was not picked up that day. Um, there's some things we do run into, um, like maybe your container was not out by 7 a.m. That's one of um, the first things that we always ask is that your carts are out by 7 a.m. That will ensure your cart is not missed. Um, as long as you know all the contents and everything are inside the cart and no contamination. But out by 7 a.m. is one of our most important rules to make sure your, your cart is not missed because our routes are always growing, they're always changing, weather can impact how we pick up, um, you know, things like that. Um, sometimes containers are over, overweight. You know, okay. some people might, you know, we ask that you don't put like dirt, rock or concrete or, you know, something like that in your garbage carts because those arms are not, you know, if the arms can't pick it up, nobody's going to be able to pick it up by hand either. Um, so another thing would be um, like wrong materials in the recycling. You know, we've found styrofoam in the recycling or wood or, you know, things like that that don't belong in the single stream recycle cart. And then one of the biggest issues we run into with yard waste would be big branches. The yard waste cart is um, strictly for grass, leaves, flowers, and twigs. Um, so this little orange tag indicates maybe, you know, the, the issue we, um, or the challenge that we experienced during your pickup. It just explains, you know, why your cart was not picked up. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call. So, great. You mentioned something when you were talking about the orange tags that I really, I don't want to say it, it's the S word, but snow is coming. <laughs> snow! Yes, and it's it is. not something I want to talk about, but I think it's something that we need to prepare for. Now, tell me a little bit about what residents can do to make pickup of their carts easier for their provider when they come to pick those sure. up with the, the automated carts. Just making sure that the area is clear of snow and ice um, just so we can get to your cart and access your cart is really one of the biggest things. Okay. Um, so. And I know that sometimes weather just happens mm -hmm. and sometimes it affects routes in the morning. Mm -hmm. Is there an easy way for residents to find out if there is a delay in their service or if it is maybe being rescheduled to new 
a new day because of weather events, what's the best way for them to find out about that? Um, so if you go on the City of Brookings website, there's this big orange button that says Get Notifications, um, and you just click on that button, give us your email address, and you can get weather delays, holiday updates, there's all sorts of good information um, that you can receive um, by just clicking that button, that orange button that says Get Notifications, and um, providing your email address. Awesome. So, is there anything else that you're going to be sending out that might have like the holiday schedule in it or give more information about what residents need to know about their service? Yeah, so every year we send out a um, flyer with your utility bill um, okay. that will have all of the holidays and days that were closed. Um, if you know the the schedules and, and things like that, just things to, to watch for. Well, awesome. Is there anything else that you want to talk about today, Katie? Um, I think that covers it. Well, thank you, Katie. I really appreciate all of the information. And residents, uh, just watch out for the weather and sign up for alerts on the website and look for that mailer coming out soon.